Hello everybody and welcome back to another tutorial. I'm in Adobe Photoshop 2024 and basically what I have here is a top layer of my sun and a bottom layer of a reservoir that we had visited and basically let's say we wanted to combine these two layers so they look natural. Now if you notice the color is drastically different you know this was probably more of a overcast day maybe a little bit of sun peeking out and this is a very bright sunny day so we really need the colors to match better so one thing i'm going to do real quick is cut my sun out in adobe photoshop 2024 makes that real easy i just have this remove background button click it and you see it does a pretty good job of cutting them out it's not perfect but you know we can clean that up later um, so with your subject layer selected i'm going to go to filter neuro filters and then in neuro filters i'm going to go to harmonization and i'm going to turn it on and if you notice um, nothing is happening right away that's because we need a reference image so let's select a layer in this case, I'm going to have layer one be the selected layer. And if you noticed, Photoshop just worked its magic and it may feel slight to you, but it actually did a much better job of combining these two scenes together. Now, if you don't love it, you think you can get it better, you can absolutely um, mess with these different settings like strength we can turn strength up if we think that's better or lower it I think actually around where Photoshop had it was pretty darn good and then you can also add um, you know different balances of color cyan and red magenta and green yellow versus blue and then saturation and brightness and you can tweak all of these things to make them match um, better like let's see so if you notice we could add some more yellow but that looks ridiculous we went too far so i'm going to command z on that but i think i am going to add a little bit more green so there's a lot of green in that shot and like Maybe a tiny bit of yellow. And, you know, we could desaturate it a little bit if we want, but that looks pretty good. I feel like Photoshop did a pretty good job of combining those two scenes. And then we could just press OK if we're happy. That brings us to the regular Photoshop screen. And look, that's a pretty darn good composite with the colors. I mean, one thing I might do, you know, because my son is you know so close to the foreground and the background is so sharp um it might be nice to actually add a little bit of a blur so i'm going to go to blur uh, gaussian blur and just make that a little bit out of focus it's up to you how much you want but sometimes if you go too far it's a little unnatural you kind of got to imagine like if a real camera was taking this photo you know, how blurry would the background be? Let's say we like it like that. But, you know, that's up to you. But that's a good way to uh, combine photos. And I think we've got a pretty good result for two images that were taken on drastically different days. What do you guys think? Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.